Three, two, one. So we're going to make a movie about an animal. And what do you think that animal should be? Well, I don't know. I mean, my favorite animals are hedgehogs. So once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, at the beginning, there should be like a narrator saying like, once upon a time, there was a hedgehog. Once upon a time, there was a hedgehog named Bob who had one close friend that he would always hang out with. Who's that? Mary. Bob and Mary are in seventh grade. They're best friends and they even have bracelets saying BFFs. It was best friend-like, but it was best hedgehog-like. They would run together, wait, hold on. They hunt together and they play together very ferociously. And they went to a school called what? Wildcat School. So it is graduation day. The five days of the school year have finally passed. And the theme of this graduation was... Under the sea. And Mary was dressed as um, a sea urchin. So she had like a big green beret. And she had a long green dress with a bunch of orange and different colors of coral stuck to her. And Bob had a tie that said, It's your graduation day! <laughs> The graduation was coming together beautifully. There was only one problem. Mr. Wildcat is the officiant of the ceremony, and he's supposed to be there at 2.30, actually. But Mr. Wildcat was nowhere to be found. So talk more about the principal coming. Like, where, what was taking him so long? Um, he was actually coming from L.A., so, you know... It turns out, Mr. Wildcat had been on quite the adventure. It began when he had to choose his form of transportation. And he ran to get um, his jet turbine. And he said, this is 59 years old, but I will use it and take very good care of it. So he set off for his adventure, and it went and it started going up and up and up, and away he went, um, 60 miles per hour. Meanwhile, at the graduation... Everyone's really impatient, and there's a lot of fidgeting, and then 10 minutes go by. There's now some murmuring in the crowd, some coughing, and... Someone actually goes up and goes to the food bar already to grab a grape. As Bob and Mary were waiting, Bob was feeling a blend of emotions in his body that he couldn't quite identify. It was very twitchy and very tingly, kind of like in the back of his neck. He decided to name his feeling, and it was excitement for graduation. So on a scale of one to 10, how strong was his excitement? Excitement was when 10, so very much so. Okay, so he was like top excitement. Yes. But then Bob realized there was another feeling going on for him at the same time. He realized that he was also really irritated. His head is kind of swirling, and he's just very rigid. Bob told Mary he was feeling excited and irritated, and she felt the same way. It had now been many hours, and Mr. Wildcat had still not arrived. As it turned out, he loves to smell corn, so he likes to choose the route with a lot of corn in it. This was not the most direct route for Mr. Wildcat. And he went through like about 16 states, all the way back to California. And as he passed the cornfields, he couldn't help but stop and enjoy the corn. And that made him very late. By the time he arrived... He's five hours late to the ceremony, and everybody's been waiting. After a long five-day school year and a very long wait, the crowd cheered at Mr. Wildcat's arrival, and Bob and Mary finally had their moment in the spotlight. 
And then they played Pin the Tail on the Hedgehog. It was a super lovely time. But what's the lesson here? In the end, this isn't a story about the perils of being late or why not to stop and smell the corn or even the fleetingness of youth and how quickly the five-day school year passes. It's really about Bob and Mary and their ability to talk to each other about their feelings. To stop, take a deep breath, and notice the feeling in their bodies. Then name the feeling, or multiple feelings, and figure out how big they were on a scale of one to 10. And share that with each other. And when they did, it really sprouted the ongoing trust. It brought them closer because they were able to listen and think about the other person. What can kids learn from it is you have multiple emotions at once. So you could be like nervous or scared, or you could be mad or, or frustrated, or you can be happy, which is great to be.